So what is 4K video and how it differs from 8K video and can we recover any of those two formats in case of accidents? Let's get started! Hello everyone and welcome to Undershare Recovery, your one stop for practical data solutions. Today we're going to discuss one of the hottest topics around video protection in the past months, namely 4K and 8K videos. What do they represent, how they differ from each other and are there any ways to recover videos recorded in 4 or 8K? All of that we're discussing in the next few minutes and if you like such kind of practical data tutorials, make sure to be subscribed to our channel. Now, let's talk about the meaning of both 4K and 8K. Apparently both are really popular, with 4K being something like the successor to the very popular Full HD, also known as the 1080p format. Well, in 4K the resolution goes higher, in fact the pixel amount is four times the quantity that we have with Full HD, whereas with 8K we have kind of the 4K resolution doubled. Currently, given the state of technology, 8K is the top of the line, providing the crispiest image and also the greatest pixel density, meaning that you can notice even the smallest details in the footage if the footage has also been recorded in 8K. The other popular standard 4K is something like uh, standard these days, even for YouTube, and one of its most popular implementations is this resolution 3840 by 2160 But when you jump to 8K resolution, the pixel count increases to 7680 by 4320. Due to the higher number of pixels available at a given surface, the picture quality of 8K resolution is slightly better than the 4K resolution. The thing with these resolutions is that also it's a matter of perception, and I still can point to you a lot of people who would barely make any difference between 1080p and 4K. And between 4K and 8K, some people would say there is zero difference or just slight difference. To justify my words, uh, give you an example that Warner Bros. They have made this experiment to stream media, you know, part of it recorded in 4K, another part in 8K, to an audience, and most of the feedback that they have released is that the difference between 4K and 8K has been just slight. Thing is that 8K is very resource hungry and there are very few devices but also very few streaming platforms that really support it. So is it really worth jumping from 4K to 8K resolution at home for instance? It depends. As usual, well, you could be 8K ready by purchasing an 8K capable TV thing is that the cameras that currently support 8K recording are just a few and the streaming platforms that we have are currently limited. For instance, YouTube does provide 8K resolution, however, it's a bit compressed, so you probably wouldn't make any difference between a video you watch on YouTube and another 4K video that you watch on your TV and has been recorded locally. Furthermore, Amazon Netflix, both of these platforms currently in 2022 are only providing streaming services up to 4K, so it's gonna take a while until more devices and more platforms support 8K. Of course, all of that is related to a lot of resources, because for streaming you do need pretty high bandwidth, which gets even higher with 8K video files. Since we talk about files, this is actually the area of our expertise, especially recovering files, and it doesn't matter if we talk about video or audio or any other type of files which are accidentally deleted or just lost due to various reasons. The problem with 8K videos is that they can be huge files, therefore recovery could be a bit tricky, but here we are with a few very easy to follow steps and tricks in order to help you. Our first method represents a quick way to retrieve your deleted videos and all you have to do is to execute a few commands in command prompt. I need to be very clear up front, using CMD usually has pretty low success rates. But still, let me show you how to enter the check this command, which is going to recover the file system in case of any minor issues. Open the command prompt window, then type chkdsk, then the drive letter you're going to recover the files from, then hit the enter button and press yes in case you added some extra parameters. After a while you're going to see the results and hopefully your file system is going to be recovered, therefore the files are going to be playable again. If not, then we're going to use some professional grade data recovery software. Let me present you Wondershare Recover It, which feels equally comfortable recovering 4K but also 8K video files. 
To get started, download, install and launch Recovery to your computer, then select the location from where you had accidentally deleted videos. Go ahead, begin the scanning process. This is the point where you have to be extra patient and it might take a while. After the scanning process completes or as soon as you stop it, you're going to see a list of all the scanned results on your screen. Simply browse through these results, select the 4K or 8K video files that you want to get back, you can preview them and eventually click the Recover button at the bottom right corner of the screen and select the location where you want these files to be exported and preserved. So easy peasy, you know, a few magic spells and you're going to get your files back in no time. And reliability by using Wondershare Recovery it is pretty good, success rate as well. And hopefully all of that has been useful and now you know about the differences between 4K and 8K video files, but also you're aware of the ways how to recover accidentally deleted video files, no matter the resolution. Thank you very much for being with our channel and in case you're interested in more practical data solutions, make sure to be subscribed for any questions. We're of course going to take a look in the comment section below the video. I'm Michael from Recovery. Look forward to seeing you in our next episode. Bye!